myself, Narana Day. I am from my YouTube channel. Today in this class, I am explaining about data handling. What is meant by data handling? In this case, very important point is data. What is data? Why we are using data? Here, we are using data in so many ways. In software side, in business side, in organizations, in some companies, in some industries, in some schools, colleges, in anywhere. Data is important. In shares, stock on shares, stock exchanges, in so many places, data is very important. Data security is also important. So, this is a very important chapter in mathematics and data handling. In this case, what is meant by data? Data is nothing but collection of information. Collection of information is nothing but data. There are so many definitions are there for data, but I will tell one, one, def, one type of definition that is collection of data. Okay? See here, data handling. Collection of information is called the data. Some information, piece of data, is the good information. So that information is called uh, data. Data containing information. Information containing already piece of data. Yes or not? So that is collection of information is called the data. There are so many ways you can choose about the data. Suppose total population in India, there is data. How much population is there in some year, in some year, in some year? How growing the population in India? That is one type of data. Yes or not? Same manner, rain percent in the last 10 years. What is the ten per, uh, rain percent? How much rain has come in last 10 years? Or in last 10 years? That is different ways. Increasing or decreasing? That is different upon the diagram. That is graphically represented. Okay, I will tell that now. Then, next, runs made by batsman in last 10 years. What in the odd years? So, runs made by a batsman in the last 10 odd years. That is one type of data. This type of some examples for data. Okay? So, this data is dependent by graphical aid. So, this data is dependent graphically to give clear idea. Whenever graph is there, you can get clear idea about data. How is increasing or decreasing last 10 years or 10 days or before one hour, two hours or whatever maybe. Is that not? So this is depends upon graph. I will tell now. What is graph? Nothing but mathematical representation. Graph is nothing but mathematical representation. Yes or not? That is different types of graphs are there. Okay, I will tell you. Mathematical representation or mathematical diagram which shows the relationship between two or more sets of numbers or measurements. Two or more sets of numbers means, uh, suppose one student, one student is there, he got some marks in the last 8th class, 9th class, 10th class, or internet or graduation, what do you mean? So they are different, different marks in different subjects. So that is, you can draw a graph mathematically, you can get some idea about that, how increasing or decreasing in the last classes or in future class, in uh, over classes. Yes or not? That is diagram, graphically. Two or more sets of numbers are measurements. Measurements with lengths. Measurements, area. So measurements. Depends upon that we can draw a graph regarding measurements. That is your type of graph. This graph are of different types. Different types of graphs are there. Or some of them are diagram. Diagram, any diagram. Figure is a graph, table, the graph, chart, the graph, blueprint, plan, map, ablation. These are some examples for graph. Okay? In chart, again, line chart, bar chart, pie chart, and area chart. Okay? 
So in this way, you can draw a graph regarding the data. Regarding that, that is important. You have to observe. Now, during this, about this graph, you can, you can compare some measurements or some other values in last years or some comparison years. Okay. See here. This is single bar chart. This is double bar chart. Absolutely, this can be called as bar chart. This is double bar chart. What is the difference between bar chart and double bar chart means uh, here comparison is there between two years. Here there is no comparison, only one year during this period. During this period, but here comparison comparison is there. That is the difference between double bar chart and uh, bar chart. Okay. See here production in crores population. Population in crores in years. In India, suppose 2012 to 2013, population is 100 crores, for example. And 2013 to 2014, how many crores? 105 crores. So, gradually, population is increasing in India during these years, for example. In this way, we can show the data in the form of uh, diagram that is called uh, bar chart. There are so many charts are there, but this one type of bar chart that is called graph. Chart is also a graph, one type of graph. Here, double graph. Here you can see production of Texmo Motors. This is a motors company, Texmo is a motors company. Production, how much production is happening during this years? 5 hours for 7.2 hours for, 10 hours for, and 15 hours for. So, this is about how many numbers? Some numbers. So, some thousands. 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So, first floor model during this year, yield production is 20,000. Okay? 20,000. In this way, you can compare the production or data during years. That, that is, 2005 2006, production is first models are 20,000. And comparison is 30,000. 2005 means 20,000. And 2030, 30,000. So that is comparison between two years. Exxon Motors production happening. How will be happening? How much happening? That is comparison. We can compare the values or data during two years. That is double graph, double bar graph. So what difference between Double and uh, bar log means uh, here you can compare the data two years or three years. Ordered maybe. Okay? So that is the difference between double and uh, single graph. Here you can compare the values. How much production is happening? Price models during 5 to 6. 5 is this much and 6 is this much. Same manner, 7.5 hours per hour. 40 during 2006 and 50 during 2007. There is a comparison. So, you can compare the values in double bar graph and here we don't, uh, didn't compare the values. When you can, you can assign the values for that specified period. That is 12 to 2013. Population is how much? This much. For 13 to 14, how much population? In this way, you can draw the graph by using data. In this way, you can use the data in so many ways to find the value. So, this is bar, this is double bar. This is the difference between double bar and the single bar. Here you can compare the values. Generally, you can uh, assign the values for during this type of uh, years up to uh, 100,000, 105, 110 and 110 and 120. Okay? This is the difference between double bar and the single bar chart. 
So, regarding these uh, graphs, we can get clear idea what happening in this years, population or production or something. So, for that purpose, we can use graphs. There is another type of representation is there, that is pictorial representation. Pic dot symbol, pic pictorial. So this is very important. This is simple graph, simple method to find the data, to compare the data. See here, January, this is the 10,000 car production, production of 10,000 cars. So, production. January, production is this much. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 30,000. February, this one. March. So, from this we can find that in which month production is more. March. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 50,000 cars are produced during March month. In March month. So, in which month? In which month? In which month? Production is more. Which month? March. Simple. Yes or not? In the same manner, in which month production is low? Which month? April. Yes or not? Only 20,000. This 10,000 and this 10,000. So, in this way, we can compare the values. We can find the values by using pictorial representation. This is called pictorial representation. How much production is happening during these months? January, February, March, April. So, in, this, in which month maximum production is happening? March and low production April. So in this way, Boising graph or pictorial representation can find the data maximum or minimum or medium. This is a very clear idea. To get clear idea, we can use pictorial representation or graph. There are so many chart graphs are there. Charts are there, line chart, bar chart, pie chart, area chart. So I will tell in future class those charts. Now this is about uh, the presentation by using this one and this data can be defined, can be used in so many ways, in so many places. So by using this graph you can find, you can find the values during some period and some years. Okay? From this we can conclude that uh, Data is very important for any organization, for any company or something, whatever it may be. But for this data, we can show a graph. Suppose cricket match will be happening, how wicket self has fallen during some hours. So we can draw a graph. Simply you can find how the match will be going on. Yes or not? So for this purpose, you can use graphs. That is data. Okay, dear friends. This data handling is very important. This is about some information about the data handling. I will tell some more charts in the future process. So, practice this. You can get some idea about the data handling. Okay, dear friends. Thanks for watching Matthew YouTube channel. If you like this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel Matthew. And return bell icons to get more information. Thank you.